Pertubuhan Kesihatan Sedunia WHO melawat dan menghantar bekalan ke Hospital Al-Shifa serta tiga hospital lain di Gaza pada Sabtu. Menurut WHO, Al-Shifa pernah menjadi hospital terbesar di Gaza tetapi perang tanpa henti dan jumlah besar mangsa yang cedera mengakibatkan sistem kesihatan di hospital hampir lumpuh. Penyelaras pasukan perubatan kecemasan WHO, Sean Cassie, menggambarkan kejadian itu sebagai sebuah tragedi. I'm back in Al Shifa, the largest hospital in Gaza, for the third time this week, where it's still a case of absolute misery, with people still on the floors. It's almost impossible to walk. Critical cases, doctors and nurses absolutely scrambling, people crying out that they need blood for their son and daughter who are dying. There's almost nothing that this team can do, this very small clinical team can do to help all of these people. It's absolute chaos still. And actually, this is even after the hospital staff told us that the fighting has quieted down for the last few days. It's non-stop, 24 hours a day, serious and critical injuries coming in and a very small staff to help them. Israel menafikan menyasarkan orang awam dalam operasi ketenteraannya di Gaza dan menuduh Hamas membina terowong dan infrastruktur ketenteraan di kawasan awam yang padat penduduk. Israel telah mengepung semenanjung Gaza dan memusnahkan sebagian besar wilayah itu. Hamas yang mentadbir Gaza menganggarkan angka korban akibat serangan Israel kini melepasi angka 20,000 orang. Ribuan lagi dipercayai mati di bawah runtuhan.